Most games satisfy as fun to play with a decent story and a slightly addictive but short-lived replay value, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us sets itself apart. It is almost unfair to call it a game, as the majority of the time you'll spend on it, you'll find it is more like a movie. A more fitting title will therefore be an animated, interactive adventure. The Last of Us starts off with a gripping prologue to really set the scene. It's 20 years before the rest of the game takes place, we have to see how the infection started. During the prologue, the game really captures the emotions and shock of the characters. They react with extreme realism and accuracy to how it would actually take things, provided an outbreak did happen. This sense of realism is carried throughout the game and quickly becomes one of the driving forces to pull you in. After the traumatic prologue, you wake as Joel, a main character who has made a name for himself as a smuggler of sorts. He has teamed up with a woman named Tess, and they currently have a predicament about a shipment of guns they are supposed to receive. Through a journey outside of their quarantined city, monitored by armed forces, they come across the provider who has shafted them and has instead sold their guns to a radical group called the Fireflies. Before Joel and Tess can think about what to do next, they are approached by Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies. She states that in order to get their guns back, they need to do a simple smuggling job. Enter Ellie. Without giving too much away, Ellie is special, and the Fireflies need her in their active search for a cure. The goal is simple, deliver Ellie to the Fireflies just a small ways outside of the city. However, nothing is ever that simple. The realistic and riveting story takes you all the way across the United States, and with each completed section you find yourself yearning for more. Nothing ever feels overdone or far-fetched, and by the end of the compelling journey you will sit back and realize that everything that had just happened was something you saw coming, but never expected. The Last of Us sets itself apart from every other game by introducing a simple concept, survival. Throughout the entire game you find yourself short on supplies, even when you have a full inventory, bringing about a whole new dynamic to playing through the game. The game is set in a third person view, allowing you to scan the environment easily for supplies, alternate routes, and enemies. You can carry weapons and supplies, and through a real time crafting system you can combine to create different items to aid you in your journey. A superpower like Listen Mode enables you to use an echo location like ability to sense where your enemies are, provided they are making noise by moving around, growling, or clicking. Throughout the game you have a choice. You can use your resources to go in headstrong and take down all the enemies in a wildfire fight. You can sneak around and take down as many enemies as possible to scavenge for supplies. Or you can stealthily go through without disturbing anyone. While some circumstances offer a better option for one choice or the other, ultimately, the entire game can play this way, with the exception of a few instances which help drive the story forward or explain things that have already happened. This allows for a lot of creativity and skill as you need to be smart about your situation and what you can or cannot afford. The underlying concept is really quite simple, which is probably what makes it so good. However, the execution is where the game really challenges you. Not only will you have to somehow get from point A to point B with a horde of obstacles in the way, but you will also need to emerge with enough supplies once you're through. Naughty Dog has always been known for its outstanding graphical quality, as seen specifically in the Uncharted series, and The Last of Us is no different. The cinematics will astonish you throughout the entire game, and the subtle details like hair blowing in the wind will make you stop and appreciate all the effort put into making this game as realistic as possible. The facial expressions and body language alone can tell the story without any words, and nothing is lost during the actual gameplay as well. Motions are fluid, details are crisp, and everything seems to be representative of the real world. Nothing more really needs to be said, the game looks remarkable throughout. One of the most impressive details in The Last of Us is the attention to the voice acting quality. Without any imagery, the game could progress with solely the script, and a vivid picture of what is going on could be obtained. The voice acting is hands down the best I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing, and not only was it present in the cinematics, but in small and meaningless conversations throughout the entire game. Beyond the flawless discussions, the game makes a point to revolve around small sounds in the world. Utilizing this thrown empty bottle to deter the attention of your enemies is a prime example of this. Half of the enemies in the game can only navigate by echolocation, and therefore every move you make is detailed with a small noise. With obstacles scattered around you, you need to be careful not to step on any broken glass, and God forbid you run anywhere. When traveling through the United States, you will also encounter a plethora of miscellaneous background noises that immerse you in the feeling of being in an apocalyptic world. A few animals here and there, the empty sounds of a deserted town, and the chaotic fighting that may ensue if you misstep. Any form of surround sound will surely bring the quality of gameplay up to a new tier. Once the riveting story is completed, there are a few options one can take to really get their money's worth. The first is to go for platinum. With only a handful of trophies, The Last of Us appears to be a quick plat. However, that is far from the truth. The game offers a wide variety of different collectibles that need to be gathered, and a multitude of different specific actions that need to be performed throughout the game. A simple guide can easily help these objectives, however the need to complete the story no less than three times is something of note. You must beat the story on the hardest difficulty, Survivor, which is only unlocked after you complete the story once. After completing Survivor, you must then complete a new game plus on Survivor mode. Knowing Naughty Dog and their affinity for difficulty levels going through the roof, this should come as no walk in the park. But on the large amount of time spent on single player, certain trophies required you play a bit of online multiplayer as well, which of course leads us to the second option for getting your money's worth out of this title. The multiplayer is something extraordinary in the sense that it has an underlying story, a theme that is carried over from the single player. You host a clan of people that you must protect, feed, and grow throughout a course of 12 weeks. Each battle you take part in represents one day, and therefore a minimum amount of time spent playing online for plat would have to be about 168 rounds, that is 12 weeks for each side of the fight, fireflies and hunters, in order to get the two gold trophies for multiplayer. 
The battles also carry the same survival theme from single player, forcing you to team up with three other players to scavenge, craft, and decimate the rival side of four players. There are two game modes, one which gives each team 20 respawns, and another which gives no respawns across a race to four wins. Nothing is lost in quality from the single to multiplayer. The graphics and sounds all remain top notch, the details are gloriously represented, and because you are still utilizing all the same tactics you have in single player, the style of gameplay is near identical to what is skillfully gained in the campaign. In essence, the multiplayer is the broad expansion of the campaign, beautifully tied into the theme of the game. In summary, buy it. 10 out of 10.